Hey, what's up guys? It's Da Vinci. Today I'm back. I just released my newest drum kit, Da Vinci Kit Volume 5. So in this video, I'm just going to be running through all the sounds and loops contained within this kit. I'm going to be making two beats in this video. I'm going to be making one in FL Studio, which is kind of like a plug beat. I'm also going to be making one in Ableton, which is kind of more like a lo-fi boom bap. So two beats in this video. Make sure you guys stick around to the end. Um, and yeah, basically in this kit, I put in a bunch of drums I use from songs like Dubs with Mavi, Noff with Xlove Clo, 3 3 with Cash Dami, The Receipt with Cash Dami, uh, Red Light with Young Chris. Just like sounds from a bunch of songs I produced this year. Um, also songs I produced for Tia Kareen, Paris Hilton. Um, yeah, I basically put in a bunch of sounds from a bunch of songs I produced this year. Um, drum wise, also I have 10 loops in this kit. Super dope, super vibey. Um, also with the loops in this kit, if you guys purchase this kit, any beats that you guys make with the loops, make sure to send to my email up here, davincimusic at gmail.com. Um, basically, all the loops, um, or any beat that you guys make with the loops within this kit, if you guys send it to me, I'm going to be sending the best beats out to the artists I work with, and that could be a potential placement opportunity. So, yeah, I look forward to hearing what you guys make with it, and it could, you know, lead to something which could be pretty sick. So, yeah, man, excited to hear what you guys make. But yeah, let's dive straight into the kit. All right, so first we're gonna go through the drum sounds in this kit, and then we're gonna play the loops. So let's go, here's the drums. Alright guys, so those were the drums, now we're going to play the loops, so let's go to the loops.
right, guys. So I'm gonna try to make a beat using the sounds within the drum kit right now. So um, so yeah, I'm just gonna first off start off with the electric piano. Um, I think today, I think today I'm gonna use CZV, CZ5. Um, this plugin because this is a plugin I never really use, but we're gonna try it out. Actually, I meant to. Okay, we're actually gonna use DX7. I actually was thinking about DX7, so we'll use DX7. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna start with like some pretty simple uh, chords right here. So let's see. Okay, cool. We can use those chords at the end right there, I think. Actually, okay, we're gonna use, all right, so we're gonna quantize all this. I'm gonna move this over, this first thing. All right, I like that. So we're gonna keep that, move that over for the first couple bars. Gonna open up a lounge lizard. I'm gonna play a nice little um, Rhodes on top of this. This is kind of filled in a little bit more. So I'm gonna play going up right here. Oops, it kind of lagged right there. Actually, hold on. Let me turn on my piano camera because I just realized it was off. All right, guys, my piano camera's on now. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna play a cool little electric piano over this. Cool, cool, sounds good. So we're gonna go quantize this, uh, and I'm gonna throw this into second mixing channel right here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of RC20 on. Turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn that down a lot because that's a little loud. All right, next we're gonna open up a purity. Uh, yep, we're gonna use purity just cuz it's, it's a plug beat. We got to you know It is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna open up a uh, What lead should we use? I guess we'll use a uh, a Sign like a sign lead I guess why not All right, so I'm gonna record this now. This is a super simple melody nothing too crazy I even have to quantize that. I'm gonna just turn it down. Or should we quantize it? I'm gonna leave it unquantized for now, just cause, yeah, I think it sounds cool natural. I'm just gonna throw some reverb on it, just to make it kinda like, feel a little bit more. I'm also gonna throw some crystallizer on it, and put it up an octave. Just to kinda add like some cool like space ambience in it. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this all down by one octave. Not octave, I'm gonna bring this down by one key. Actually, uh. Actually, hmm. I think I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna put that sound back in, but I'm gonna start with the drums off the first two sounds so we can have the kind of like simple, you know, melody to go off of. Okay, so first, I'm gonna start with a snare. Uh, I really like using this nonchalant snare a lot. Sounds really cool. This song, the song I use this in is not out yet, but um, the song is called Nonchalant. But um, yeah, this snare is super sick. So I'm not gonna put this down right here. All right, cool, we got a snare. Now I'm gonna pull up this laser percussion sound. Pull up this uh, plug perk, and I'm gonna pull up this clap sound. So now I'm gonna kind of just do like a pretty simple bounce uh, with this percussion sounds. And I'm gonna pull up 
this plug tom right here i really like using this sound too a lot in plug beats so we're gonna do this Ooh, wrong sound we're gonna do that right here so now we're gonna copy all this for um freaking the eight bar loop my mouse is kind of tweaking but it's all good it's all good all right yeah we're gonna copy this for the eight bar loop um let's see let's see do the same thing with the laser sound i'm also gonna take this one out every two bars just for some variation all right so i did this all correct all right cool so now we got a cool little bounce going i'm at this little hi-hat right here i'm gonna put the bpm up a tiny bit to 145 yeah it's created a nice little bounce and i think i'm gonna take everything down by one key this make it a little more vibey oh, hold on. messed up a little bit i'm also gonna throw a little bit of reverb on the chords this would give it a little bit more of a vibe Got a little vibe going on. I got some nice drums. Uh, now I'm gonna try doing. Oop, yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna add this little this sound right here on the one. Just to kind of kind of give it a little more flavor. I'm gonna add this little open hat too. This this new wave plug 808, it's like this like 808 that I found that I've been using in plug beats. I don't, no one really uses 808, but I found it and it sounds kind of cool in plug beats. So yeah, I'm gonna add it in. But before I actually add it, I'm gonna take out a little bit of the low end of the chords real quick. All right, so let's try this now. good that sounds good uh the last note uh i think that last note okay yeah i probably can change that last note i played the wrong note but uh, maybe yeah, sharp. maybe even back down to a b might not even even need that last 808 note right there how this sounds now so we might have a cool little bounce going on here
All right, guys. So I basically just like did a quick little arrangement on the beat, uh, mixed it a little bit, and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Pretty much a simple plug beat, but it's super fire. Uh, I like the drums a lot, and it sounds pretty simple, and it works. All right, guys. So now we're gonna make a beat in Ableton using the kit. Um, so I actually made a whole beat, and the audio got kind of messed up. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I did and break down this beat. So this is the beat I made. Um, I used loop number eight within the kit. This one right here. I basically um yeah so I used that loop and I kind of just like finessed like an 808 and a bunch of drums over it so I'm gonna basically just play it real quick and I'm gonna explain what drums I use and how I've made it sound this way so yep here it is cool so that's how it sounds this, like I said this is kind of more like a kind of like boom bap like indie lo-fi like soul type beat compared to the plug one we had in FL studio but yeah so um, I basically just start out with a sample right here um, all I really did to it was I added a tape mellow lo-fi on it which just basically just kind of is like a RC20 cassette kind of plug in um, without it it sounds like this I basically just use it to take out some of uh, the low end uh, to make room for the 808 and add a little bit of like um like background noise into it um yeah so i start out with that um i put a sound shifter on it to put it down by uh minus four basically bring down bring it down by four keys well i guess i took it down by one key already um or three keys so i guess yeah so it's basically the loop down by seven um down by seven keys um so yeah i'm just gonna go into the drums right now so first off i started out with this kick the Mesa kick right here in the kick folder. Um, you got this kick, and basically what I did, I just did like a pretty simple pattern right here. Um, yeah, the kick is pretty much quantized on beat. Um, and what I did with the kick is I actually side chain compressed it to the melody. So every time the kick hits, the melody kind of goes down, or the loop kind of goes down, like side chain compression, as you see right here. It basically kind of like allows room for the kick. Uh, so yeah, that's the kick. After the kick, I added this open hi hat. So it kind of sounds cool. So yeah, we add the open hi hat, and this is the clean open hat right here. Um, and after that, I did some hi hats. So I used this uh, train hi hat right here in this kit. Wait, was it the train hi hat? Uh, yeah, I guess so I used the train hi hat. And basically what I did is that um, in Ableton, I, I put this uh, uh, 11 milliseconds off beat to create a little like swing. So if you listen to it with the measurement on, it's like slightly off beat, but it's like giving it like, a, it's, it's a good off beat. It's kind of giving it like a little swing to it. Uh, and all I kind of did was did some velocity um, variation in it. So every other note, the velocity is going down. And that kind of gives it like that, like kind of like boom bap kind of swing to, to it. So yeah, right now we got the, the the kick, the open hat, and right there, kind of has a nice little swing to it right there. And yeah, after that, I add this little snare flam uh, in the snare section right here of the kit. Snare flam. Kind of adds a nice little like swing to it. And after that, I add this Pharrell snare right here. Um, So I put it like right. I put the snare flam like right before the second snare hit. Just create a little bounce. So yeah, those. That's pretty much like the drum pattern I have right here. Uh, I also layered it. I love using the sound a lot. I use it in like a lot of my beats. 
but um, I used this crowd effects noise in the effects slot of the kick. Um, and basically, um, I sidechained the kick to the freaking crowd noise. So every time the kick hits with the crowd noise, the crowd kind of goes down in volume. It kind of it sounds kind of cool. It kind of gives it like a like a house kind of vibe to it. And now all this with the, with the loop playing sounds kind of cool. Nice, nice little vibe to it. And then lastly, I add this 808 um, in the 808 section. I just used, um, there's a bunch of different 808s, but I used this basic 808, which is like a typical like short plug, like uh, 808. And I basically just like played um, the notes to match the bass line of the loop. I did a little step up right here with the octavized thing right here. And all together, um, it sounds like this. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's pretty much the beat. I'm sorry that the footage got messed up, but yeah, just, just wanted to break it down for you guys. But anyway, guys, um, just wanted to remind you, um, basically, any beats that you guys make with the loops contained within this kit, make sure to send it to this email up here. Um, and the best beats that I get using the loops, I'm going to send out to like artists I work with, which might be potential placement opportunities for you guys. So that could be super sick. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching up to this video. If you guys purchased the kit, I really, really appreciate it, man. So much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.